Hello, Neil, friends and family. This is Stephanie Roldan, a new face on here from Break Room Conversations. We are coming to you live now from Instagram, and I am gonna invite some friends on here today, and let's see if I can do this, guys. This is my first time. Here we go. I see everyone that I need to. There. Let's get Tatum on in. Hey everyone, thanks for joining. All right, there he is, we did it. Yo, so I uh, I have to be honest, this is our, I think our first time doing <laughs> Instagram Live. It is. And I was testing some filters and I kind of like the mustache filter. I just gotta be honest, oh, that's really so fun. I don't think I could actually grow a mustache like this. So I thought, you know, why not? Also, because I've got this plant in the background, there's this like purple tree kind of oh. thing. Kind of nice too, right? There's a, uh, I'm being on fire. I could be on fire like right now. One. Do you like that one? Or, or do we just go with the mustache? I mean, like- I don't think I can take you seriously with that mustache. That's fair, that's fair. I'm gonna go to the blue tree because it's sort of- That is pretty. It's nice. It's like, there's, you know. My phone doesn't know what's going on with us being on Instagram Live, so I'm not even going to touch anything right now. So, totally fair. Uh, totally fair. Yeah. So for those that are, are joining us, welcome. Uh, we are Tatum and Stephanie from Neil, and we are in Break Room Conversations. We typically have Alberto with us as well. And for those that are new to Break Room, what this is, it's a 15-minute talk about anything that's hot going on in the Break Room, maybe some, like, spicy things. Um, Trent. <laughs> Sorry, right, we're gonna carry away with the filters. Was... But we have a special guest today, right? That's kind of we like a big that. deal. Huge deal, huge deal. So we are gonna go ahead and invite our special oh. guest. I see Deborah just joined. Deborah, what do you think of my mustache? What do you think of this? <laughs> hmm? All right. Yes, special no. guest, you have been invited. There she is. Yes. <gasps> there she is. It's like magic. We did it, guys. We did it. Yay. <laughs> Welcome, Tracy. Thank you so much for joining us on Break Room Conversations, our first time and on Instagram Live. And we've been doing Break Room for, what, about two years or so? I don't know. We're going to try to figure out what, what day it is today. I don't, I'm not good for that. Yeah, that's a It's great been question. a minute. It's been a minute. But I got to say, <laughs> it's been a minute. And the hype around today's session is pretty massive. Uh, a lot of fans out there of Tracy. So thank you so much for joining us. I know. I'm trying not to like, I mean, it is hot here, but I'm also fangirling right now. So I'm gonna right. <laughs> it is hot. Myself. This is Tracy. Here's a live feed of what it's like to be in Louisiana right now. This is live feed of Louisiana. <laughs> how it, it, uh, it, it, it's hot. Um, but yeah, well, let's yeah. get going. Cause we're, the, theoretically this is supposed to be a quick, Quick and short so interview. This new platform, I think. I know it's the filters. People talking. Okay, okay. We gotta. This is not good for us. We gotta focus. All right. Okay, focus. <laughs> right. So we're this is supposed to be fast, and so we have a lot of fans out there. So I wanted to first just sort of uh, introduce Tracy as the. Actually, Tracy, you are the creative director slash director of education for Aveda Arts. Remind me of your of your title with Aveda Arts right now. Uh, well, my title, I think, is a little bit bigger than I, but VP of Education and Creative for Aveda Arts Institutes, um, and all of those owned by Neil. And there is 18 institutes that I oversee and team and students, and I am uh, learning so much right now. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I'm in Birmingham right now, so I'm as hot as you are. <laughs> oh, right. So you can, yeah. it, you know, if you want to figure it out, it's down there. There's a little flame <laughs> filter and you just see the smiley face and then everyone can see. For everyone who was just with me up north, if you come down here right now, this is what it looks like. I love it. And, yeah. you know, Tracy, all of us have been, you know, watching you throughout the years. And really, you know, I wanted this session to be kind of a, a meet and greet on who are you? Where, where are you from? Um, you know, tell us a little bit more about your, about who Tracy is. 
Oh, wow. I hate talking about myself, though, Steph. <laughs> I, don't know. I know. I know. This I is the interview know. process. You got to talk about yourself a little bit. Where, Sorry. Well, well, I mean, all right. Really simple. Um, I've been in the beauty industry for over 30 years, longer than I'd like to admit. Um, I started, you know, is it, really what I wanted to do straight away um, once I was finished with, with high school. And uh, I started in it not really knowing what it was or, or really knowing the opportunities that I would, I would have in the future. Um, I had no idea that um, I could hone the craft of, of hair design, haircutting specifically, and uh, travel the world with one scissor, scissor and one comb. And that's what I did for most of my career. Um, and I started with Sassoon. I, I actually started a family owned business to make long story short and, and started to grow very passionate, but equally as frustrated with, with hair cutting. So I found Sassoon to learn how to cut hair. Um, and when I realized there was a system, I was kind of hooked. And when I realized I could share that with others, uh, that was my next step was, was teaching and education. And so most of my 30 years has been in education. And the, the, the people that I think right now, I think where I am now is focusing on new people coming into the industry. I want to I really that. carry on those traditions that, and the things that were given to me, it's really important that those are passed on. And Tracy, I got a question for you. Um, you know, as, as far as being an educator. Oh, wait, wait, I think we, I think we kind of lost her a little bit. Fun's calling on the other line, so just, <laughs> just swipe <Aww>. him. <laughs> um, well, I've, since we got interrupted, I have a quick question for you anyway, and, and that is, you know, you obviously work with a wide variety of artists from all, you know, backgrounds and levels of experience. What is it about working with people who are just getting started, fresh to the industry in general, that is inspirational for you? I just want to show them how good it, it is and could be. And, and, and I think carry on, you know, I was, I was given a really strong foundation to, to springboard off of. And, and it's really important for me that that tradition carries on and people coming into the industry have a really solid foundation to know, to stand upon and to grow from, you know, it's, it's the beginnings and that's where a foundation should start. And from there it's endless and boundless really, you know, um, so to me, that's, that's the most important place it should be and should start. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, so just putting a springboard out there in a really, in a really solid way for the beginners. Um, and for me, I guess it, it, it's really looking at the industry as a whole. And I know I have a small hand in raising the level of that every year that I'm in it, you know, and uh, now I can do that through 2000 students. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you've definitely made an impact throughout all of your years. And so your hand is quite, quite large. And we are so thankful to have you uh, part of our part of our family now as well. Um, I do have a question, you know, being that you, you know, someone at your level, how do you stay inspired? What what keeps you going and excited and motivated to wake up each day and just go at it? The students, the new ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, stay cl as close as possible to the young ones. That's what I've always done. So, you know, when I started education, it was in cosmetology school or, you know, this is in cosmetology school. And I, I grew through the ranks and, you know, led me to traveling the world, teaching hairdressers that had more experience than me at times. Um, but coming full circle back to the, to the beginning student, I think it, that's the part that's inspiring you know, new ways of doing things, new ways to see fresh eyes, fresh eyes. Mm -hmm. fre and, and I'm here today in Birmingham, we're doing photo shoots with the students for full oh, cool. potential for the full potential for a competition. And I'm just get to, you know, kind of, they've already prepped the hair and cut and color and had these amazing ideas. And I get to just kind of help them, you know, take it to its next level. And there's a few of the ideas. That I'm like, how did you do that? I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, like, they, it's just, they think differently, you know? And so that's really inspirational for me, you know? So when you combine that kind of sense of fearless creativity with experience, there's something magical there for sure. And you just gotta know how to 
tap into it, tune into it, and then know what to do with it. I love that we, um, you know, Tracy recently joined us and I love that we actually are, you're already doing photo shoots with students. I think that's really exciting. Um, it must be a great experience for them. I know all of our viewers wish they could probably have that same exact experience. Um, so that's, that's really cool. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to be able to share the results, but we'll have oh. to wait until the competition's over. And hopefully we have a winning image or two out of it as well. Yeah, oh, no doubt. Um, once again, thank you so much for, for joining us today. And I do have one last question because as much as I could sit here and, you know, ask you questions all day long, but we only have 15 minutes. So um, once again, someone that, you know, with the career that you have and as busy as you are, how do you balance it all? What is work-life balance to you? What does that look like in, in your world? Because that's Great a question. Huge, it, it's a big topic right now. You know, a lot of people are, are burnt out and um, tired. And how do you how do you find that balance? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, it, it's a delicate balance. It's a delicate balance. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think you have to be in the moment. Um, involve. You know, I involve my, my family with what I'm doing when I go home. I'll, I'll talk through what I did with my son. And, and then when I'm, when I'm away, part to him come with me and I tell stories of him. And so I think that's important. Uh, in, involving communication is really key. You know, mm -hmm. organizing. I Right now my schedule is like a military operation between, <laughs> you know, football matches, soccer matches and tournaments and photo shoots and so my, my pictures in my phone are really funny it really speaks to it and i was looking through them last night so we we're shooting the models so i have some shots of the models and some of the ideas and then there's like hair 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 and then <laughs> soccer cleats and then hair 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 and a 12 year old boy and hair 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 and then you know so it my 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 photo album kind of tells that balance i think <laughs> I love um, but that. it's delicate. It's a delicate balance, but it's very important to have that for me. I don't want to ever topple over one side or the other. So I, I, I'm very focused on it. I think that's the best advice is to keep it. It's here first, all of it. And it all has to stay like at a level bar. Just kind of stay in the moment, stay in the present yeah. and just have everything yeah. kind of scheduled down for you. Yeah. Yeah. And as someone who spent some, you know, a good amount of time with Tracy recently, she is extremely extremely present and um, it is sort of amazing to see that sort of balance of of soccer mom and <laughs> that most badass hair cutter in North America you know like kind of crazy yeah I love that well thank you so much for your time Tracy and we'll let you get back to uh, the wonderful work that you're doing for for our students in Birmingham and uh, we look forward to seeing more of you Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, Steph, always. Yes, hey, yes. Um, we'll talk to you later. Yep, and goodbye, soon. everybody who, who checked Bye, in. Bye, you guys. Thanks for joining. We'll see you all next Thanks week. Thanks for having Bye. Bye.